and then put the fire in exactly the right position that you want so that it looks like he's doing his dragon punch. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. I'm pretty excited because I don't own the I don't own a lot of these Nendoroids, but this one really caught my eye. It's number 683, Kusanagi Kyo Classic Version from King of Fighters, if you're familiar. It's a very popular fighting game that I've been playing since I was a kid, and I finally have the Nendoroid figure. He's gonna look so awesome. Now I more or less bought this because I thought it would look nice on my desk at work, so hopefully if I just unbox this as soon as possible, I can actually have it on my desk at work, but where's my knife? I never know where my knife is. Probably not a good thing to not know where your knife is. If your knife is, if you don't know where your knife is, it's probably not in a safe place. You can't really see the figure very well from the outside, so let's just unbox it as soon as possible so we can actually see the real thing. What I love to do with these figures is I, I like to pose them next to my curry and then take a picture and put it on Instagram because, I don't know, instead of having just a food Instagram, I, I like to have like anime figures posing next to my food. There he is inside Kaya, Kayo. I used to call him Kayo Kusanagi, but his name is actually Kyo. So I know that it's just gonna go flying everywhere. We get like fireballs. Let's have a look at the main character first. Kayo Kusanagi, Kusanagi Kyo. Just gonna pull this plastic off him so that you can actually see what he's meant to look like. Take this wedding veil off. Look how awesome he is. What I love about this character is that he he's a, he's really, he's quite a tough guy. But when he becomes this Nendoroid, he's like, super cute! And actually this Nendoroid actually has a lot more points of articulation than I was expecting. He rotates at his neck, he rotates at the waist, you can even move the legs, you can rotate the legs a little bit. Oh, he's got a separate hand. So this is a hand just for hand, just for fire. So it doesn't look like you can just put the fire in his hand. You have to actually pull his arm off and replace it with the arm that has fire. Not actually sure if it's fire or if it's like special Orochi power or what. Oh, it's his left hand, okay. So I think if we just click it on here like this. Ah, I've got fire in my eye! Oero Kachida! He's got the burning sun icon on the back. It's like fire hair. You're supposed to like put it on his head like a wig. That doesn't that doesn't seem right. Oh, yeah. So apparently you can get like a dragon punch pose where he's rising up into the air doing his dragon punch. But how do I connect it to his hand? So you pull off the front hair like this. You can actually change the face. I'm going to pack you your angry eyes. I've got the face. Now he's got his face ready to do special moves. All right, so you can put him on the stand like this. So that's no problem. I can get him to float around on the stand. But how do I get this to float in front of his hand? A few hours later. Aha! It's really difficult to see, but right here where I'm poking, there's a little hole and it actually fits perfectly with this weird little accessory that comes with it. Alright, this is as close as I can get. Basically, you have Kyo being supported by the- Oops! Oops! One million years later. Alright, I finally got it after it took me quite a long time to realize this was not balancing on here, but then I realized if you push it really, really hard, on the bottom, hard on the bottom, there, it actually does click into the fire. And so what you're left with is actually, the fire actually does manage to stay completely stable on its own. You don't have to balance it on his hand and the thing at the same time, you can actually have him completely separate from it and then put the fire in exactly the right position that you want so that it looks like he's doing his dragon punch. <sighs> So that is pretty epic. I don't think I would have it in this pose. I think I would have it with his mouth closed pose and actually have him just holding the fire. So when I put it on my desk, I'll put it like that. But I just wanted to see what this pose could possibly look like. Super happy with the possibilities and different poses that are possible. I said possible multiple, multiple times there. Very happy with what this figure is capable of. Definitely going to take a picture of Kyo with a curry maybe later on when I have lunch. Makes me want to go and play a bit of King of Fighters now. All right, that's pretty much all for this video. Just wanted to show you this Kusanagi Kyo number 638 Nendoroid figure. It has lots of different poses. You can have poses up in the air. You can have poses where he's just standing still, just holding a piece of fire. Makes me want to go and play the game. So maybe that's what I'll go and do for a little bit, but I'm going to go and eat lunch and maybe take a picture with Kusanagi. Kyo. Kusanagi Kyo. Kayo. Kayo Kusanagi. That's what we call him. That's what I used to call him. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video.